good morning my name is aditya and i am student of business management the main concern of making this video is to show how to use the template which is made by which are made by me and how to make proper use of the macros so i am just going to use my two templates uh, that are they are first is order from order form and the second one is price list so i'm just going to show you how these how the macros are used in both the templates so first of all you are just going to open the view view tab over over the that is at the place at the last and you are just going to click on the down arrow which is under the macro uh, macros and you're gonna just click on it then you can you have to just click on the record macros and okay and then a pop-up menu will open and uh, over there you are just gonna click on the keyboard and uh, there is a section given over here which is just uh, naming that uh, press the new shortcut key so over here you can just press any key which uh, which makes you feel comfortable from over, over the keyboard so so from my point of view uh, i prefer you that uh, you should just uh, use f9 key which is more comfortable and more convenient to use and you are just going to click on the assign and uh, you can just see that uh, the current key is uh, the f9 is placed which you have just uh, inserted over here so and you can you are just gonna click on the close now so this is basically my order form uh, and uh, i just taken a name called jacob private limited which is just dealing in the sports equipments and all and i just given my the address of that form and also the order who had just placed uh, named shine arts foods and also given the delivery address where to add the queue and the date of the form uh, or the date of the order on which it was just placed so as you can see that uh, over here i'm just gonna, going to write 10 so uh, this is a part of macro and over here I'm just gonna going to click on the stop recording and as you see that then I'm just gonna push the, put the arrow over here and uh, type and click click on the F9 part and uh, and so now you can see that uh, I'm just going to just cl uh, click on the F9 button and over here uh, the number which I just uh, typed on keyboard will be showed like see I've j I'm just gonna cl uh, tap on the button uh, tap on the key F9 and you will just see that the number 10 will appear like here 10 just you can see that uh, the number 10 is over here appeared in the quantity which is just sold uh, that uh, it gives that how much quantity of these puma trousers were sold so same i'm just gonna put on the on in in front of the football equipment see here it is yes and sorry okay wait a minute and f9 okay so this is how just uh, macros work in over here the same is uh, the same i'm just gonna put it over the price section so again i'm just gonna show you how it works uh, you just uh, you can see that the uh, uh, over the title bar you can see the view option and uh, from there you can just uh, go on macros then record macro then you can just uh, tap uh, click on the keyboard and enter f9 key from keyboard and you can and just click on assign and uh, okay then i am just gonna enter the price of this nike trousers 
that is 4500 in total so and after that uh, after that and after that i am just going to stop the recording and uh, this uh, get back to it and uh, i'm just going to press the f9 key and you can just see that the price of the puma trousers in total just uh, appeared like uh, 4500 this is the result so macros is very much helpful if you have to just uh, enter the task um, repeatedly like um, i just shown in the in this first uh, example like uh, in quantity there are 10 which are coming like uh, in four times so you can just um, get help from the macro so using macro is very much helpful in routine life uh, in routine life and also in the work life so it helps in saving a lot of time and has been proved very much efficient and effective also and also the macro helps in converting the complex task into much simpler form so it is a better option which is provided now i'm just going to switch on to the to my another template which is of the price list related to price list okay so as you can see that my price list uh, mostly con uh, is concerned is concerned with the first it comes the uh, title of my uh, the name of my company and then the address then it is not mandatory to include uh, your email or anything then it is just the title of price list and the it is uh, the main thing about this is uh, is nothing but the table which includes the item name quantity and the rupees per unit which is being so that the more and more, so that the customers find it more convenient because they can uh, they can't just uh, go on to the sales person and know the different prices of different uh, items and all so this uh, this is better to just give to the customers and also the all the items are included in one template only so over here you can see that i have just uh, left some blank space uh, in the quantity quantity section so i'm just going to enter some num figures with the use of macros so as i just uh, mentioned early, earlier you can just uh, click on, uh, on on the views tab and from over there you can just click the downward downward arrow and click on record macro then keyboard and then press uh, shortcut key so here the pop up menu of um, recording macro opens and also it has given a additional feature like uh, you can just enter a macro name whichever you want to so i just uh, here it is just given 